My laptop broke. So I went to the Apple store, handed them my laptop, and they said, we'll need to take it for a week. So then I thought, well, that's a problem. My entire career stops without a working laptop. So this is what I did about it. Hi guys, man, it's been quite some time, but I'm here. For those of you who've been following me for a while, I'll give a quick little update at the end of this video if you wanna stick around for that. For those of you who are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Jordan, and today we're gonna to talk about my desk setup. But I wanna give a little disclaimer first. I really don't want this to be a video that says, hey, look at my desk setup. Be like me, this is what it means to be successful. This is what it looks like to be a videographer. You must do this. I feel like that trend is going around and that's really not the message that I wanna give. I really do hope my video can help you not have to do as much research as I did and I can tell you why I came up with the solutions that I did. What I really believe about filmmakers or whatever you call yourself is, it's your raw talent, it's your own creativity. That's what makes you unique and special. That's what makes you a good filmmaker, not the stuff you have. I recognize there's so many people in this world that not might not ever, ever have access to the kind of stuff that I have access to. And that's fine. This does, this does not measure success. This does not measure your talent. This does not measure how uniquely gifted you are and the stories that you can create. If all you have access to is a pen and a paper and, and your brain to write stories, that's enough. That right there is success because you're given a piece of you into this world to make the world a better place. I just don't want where you think, oh, I'm never going to be good enough until I look like this. That's not the message I want to give across. So anyway, uh, without further ado, here is the desk setup I came up with and why I came up with it and the things that I bought. When I was in the Apple store, I was looking through all of the options and I realized that, okay, they just came out with a new M1 chip. All of their desktop setups, their Macs, are on their old Intel line. And so if I buy one of those for thousands of dollars, uh, then it's gonna be quickly outdated within a few months. I don't want to go down that route, that sounds silly. Their M1 MacBooks, I already have a MacBook Pro, I have a 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro that because of Apple Care, I got fixed for free and that was a blessing. So I don't need another laptop, uh, so what should I do? So after loads and loads of research, I decided to buy the M1 Mac Mini. It's the cheapest computer that they sell and I did all the research to think, okay, well with the Mac Mini, I have to buy all the peripherals around that. It won't come with a monitor, it won't come with anything. And when I did the research of how much it would cost for the peripherals, it was still half the price as it would cost me to buy one of their powerful enough desktops uh, at this very moment. And so that is why I chose to go with the M1 Mac Mini. So far, it has served me well. It's had enough power and enough speed uh, to edit the films that I edit. And so that's great. If I end up getting a desktop in the future and spending the money on that, then this monitor can become a, a dual monitor and I don't really waste any money um, besides buying the M1 Mac Mini, which is their cheapest solution anyway. And I can maybe sell that. So I thought that was like the best and the smartest route that I could have gone at this very moment right now today. So, all the peripherals I bought, that's what I'm going to talk about next. I bought the Apple trackpad and the Apple keyboard. I just like their keyboard. I don't need a mechanical keyboard, I like the way their keyboard types, so I went with their keyboard. And I love the trackpad because I like to use it for like zooming in um, and, and swiping between screens. And I just think it's, it's practical and helpful sometimes to have a trackpad. I also, anybody that you ask on the entire internet within Okay, that's an exaggeration. Within the videographer realm of YouTube, <laughs> everybody seems to suggest this mouse. Um, it's the Logitech MX Master 3. By the way, all links for everything that I'm gonna say in this video will be listed below. Even things beyond what I say, like the cords that need to connect into things, I will describe that in the description box below so that you can understand what you need to buy to make this entire setup work if you were to say, get this entire setup that I have. Okay, anyway, back to the mouse. Everybody recommended it because it's like a very comfortable mouse to hold in your hand, which I fully agree with, it is. My hand has never gotten tired. Compared to usually just doing this on a, a laptop, this thing has actually helped my hand a lot. I was shocked by that, but it was true. The things that they said were true. And so this mouse has been great and it's easy to customize and do different things. The thing that I've hated about this mouse, <laughs> feel like I'm like clicking back in the 90s. Um, I gotta show you this. Hold on. Okay. 
uh, this jelly comb mouse. Here, listen to this. Oh, that sounds so much nicer than this. But I've gotten used to it and it's really such a minor thing. I just, I just didn't like the click of the mouse just cause I was spoiled with this one. But I like this mouse, it works. That was a lot about the mouse. So the monitor, uh, that's a really important part. I bought the 32 inch LG Ultrafine monitor. Why did I buy this one? I also did tons of research. There's so many monitors out there. There's so much discussion about it. I want you guys to know this real quick. I am an avid researcher, an avid, avid researcher, an exhaustive researcher. I exhaust myself by the research that I do. So all the things that I suggest are after watching hundreds and hundreds of videos on YouTube. And that's why I made the decision. So you can trust me that the things that I chose, I chose because I believe they were the best quality that I could choose for the best price. You can still make your own decisions, but if you don't feel like watching tons of other videos out there and you just want this to be like your final say of get this one, maybe use me as that because I've done so much research. I will say the color on the monitor came pretty poor. I'm still working on that. I've tried to just manually calibrate it myself by putting all of my Apple products next to it and trying to match with Apple screens, since I know a lot of people watch on Apple screens. Not saying Apple screens are perfectly color calibrated either, uh, but that's the only problem that I've had with this monitor. And it's not even a problem because any monitor is gonna give you that problem. You just have to, to go within the color settings and, and match it the best you can to what you think is real accurate color. You can also buy color calibration tools. I haven't done that yet. Um, if you have any suggestions, if you know color better than me and that, that I should do that, please tell me what to do. But so far with the videos I've made, this has worked for me after a little bit of work on the color. And then these speakers right here, these are the Yamaha HS8s. There's other monitors you can get out there, but this is how people have described these ones. They've said that the HS8s are really even sounding, pretty flat. So they're really good for mixing audio. They're good for sound design. They're not necessarily speakers where you'll go, oh my gosh, this is like the best sounding thing I've ever heard. And this is what I wanna play all my music on. But they're really great for editing, which is why I chose those. There's smaller ones you can buy for cheaper, but these were the high, most highly recommended and I just decided to go for it. And so far they've served me well. They've sounded really good. Below the monitor, I have foam and then I put them on stands. Most people highly encourage that you put your monitors on stands instead of your desk. For that audio, I connected it into the Scarlet. It's funny because I didn't want to get the Scarlet because I didn't want a red thing on my desk. But out of my research there, they also said that that was the best um, out of all the people that I watched. You will need cables to connect your speakers, monitors into the Scarlet, and then another cable to connect it into the screen. I will put all of that into description of what you need to make that work. Uh, so that was my solution for audio. I bought this thing called the Thunderbolt 3 Dock because the M1 Mac Mini doesn't have a ton of ports for everything. Uh, so the Thunderbolt 3 dock has a micro SD, it has a full SD, it has USB-Cs, regular USB, I think it has an Ethernet as well, and it has a lot of them, so that is why I chose that Thunderbolt 3. I, it works really well, it's really high quality. It also has a headphone port jack. Storage. I use network attached storage from Synology, a NAS. I have that downstairs, that's where I archive most of my footage. Um, if you're ever interested in a video one day where I talk about my workflow uh, with backing up everything, I would love to make that. Um, but I have this GTEC drive that's actually full now. I did the research on that about that being a mostly reliable drive, so I have that on my desk. I just bought one of the WD MyBook. Some people have said that's not a reliable hard drive, but it's like my backup, backup, backup solution, and it's one of the most affordable ones, so... Lots, lots of people don't have trouble with it, so I just went with it. I didn't want to buy another expensive GTEC drive. That's why I did that. Okay, now one of the most fun parts that really made the desk really come together, and I'm so, so, so thankful for this. Grove Made is this company that I've always been interested in. I've always seen their stuff. They're actually Portland, which is somewhat local to me in Oregon. And so I reached out to one of my friends who owns some of their products and just asked them about it. And they connected me with Grove Made. Um, and Grove Made did not ask me to say any of this stuff, but I will candidly share with you that they gave me this stuff for free, 
which was so kind of them, such a blessing. I did not expect that. Um, they didn't ask, tell me that I had to say anything about them, but I want to say stuff about them because they were so kind, such a good company and make such good products. I would have bought all of this stuff anyway, like if they didn't just give it to me. So Grove Made gave me all of the stuff that made my desk look really nice and, uh, and aesthetic and I'm thankful for that. So the first thing is this desk shelf that holds the monitor. I love it because it puts my monitor at a good eye level for me and it's just super practical because it has these shelves to hold this stuff. Um, another thing that cut, that they gave me is this is their little slider that that can hold pens and notebooks and stuff i mean it just looks really nice under their desk shelf this little mat on my desk is like a felt or wool rather mat that just makes it really nice to not scratch up my desk and nice to work on again super high quality all of their stuff is amazing i got a their leather um, mouse pad so that the mouse would just glide nicely on it and i love it <laughs> i love this thing it's just the mouse pad Never thought I'd want a mouse pad so much, but I love it. And then uh, also they gave me this a keyboard holder. It holds the Apple keyboards perfectly. That matches the desk shelf and kind of brings that wood together. Um, and it just elevates it a little bit so that I can type and less stress on my wrists. One of my other favorite things is actually this, I haven't actually taken the paper off yet, but this headphone holder, headphones, I never knew what to do with them, like ever. And to have them actually now look nice on my desk and have a place for them, it's great, I'm thankful. Also these headphones are the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. And then last thing on my desk is this Apple MagSafe dock. You have to buy the MagSafe charger if you don't have it already, uh, but it's super high. I don't know if you can hear how heavy that is. Um, but I can just now nicely put my phone up there, just like that. And it charges it and actually keeps me less distracted. I know that doesn't make any sense, but it does. I'm thankful for that. Last thing, they also gave me a laptop stand so that it just, one, makes it look really nice sitting over there on that dresser and makes it nice to type on on your desk so that it's a little bit more elevated and you can have less stress on your back because anyone who's an editor knows that we look like this all the time <laughs> and it hurts uh, after a while or we're all gonna have arthritis when we're older. My desk itself is from Office Depot simple as that. I like it except that I'm not centered in the desk and there's no way to be centered. It's also a pretty small, it's not a very wide desk so this all just fits just perfectly on it but don't need any more than that so I love the desk. Over there I got just a dresser from Wayfair so that I can put more storage in it uh, with a Canon, a simple Canon printer on top. Oh one last thing, my plant. Um, I got that from Amazon and it actually looks pretty real, uh, so I'm happy about that because most people ask if it's real, um, which I guess maybe is them wondering if it's fake, but most people say that they can't tell that it's fake, so that's good news because a lot of fake plants look fake and I didn't feel like watering my plant by my desk all the time, but I love it. I love that plant, so yeah, that's it. That's my desk. That's my setup. Again, like I said, like all of these things, I just did hours of research to figure out if they would work effectively and be long lasting and good quality to buy at an affordable price. So that's why I tell you everything that I bought. That's why I tell you what I did um, so that if you're in the market or if you're in the space to be able to do that, um, then maybe some of these things can be helpful for you to make the final decisions that you need to make. So yeah, um, final update that I wanna give you about where I've been and why I haven't been here making videos <laughs> is I actually have been dealing with a few health things, nothing too bad, nothing too serious, uh, but it has knocked my energy out. I've been super fatigued. And so I really only had the energy to finish up the freelance projects that I've been working on. Um, and I also, super blessed, but this, this home that I'm in is my new home. And so my family just came up and helped me kind of turn my garage into a studio. So if that's a video you're interested in seeing, it's not fully done yet, but that's something I can hopefully share with you soon. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. And then I also have just been dealing with a lot of adult stuff. <laughs> uh, like my car broke down for weeks, like literally didn't have my car for like three weeks before it got fixed. 
Um, and so I was just fixing a lot of problems and I said I was gonna put a lot of videos out there but life happened and I couldn't get to it. But I will tell you, every single day, all that I think about is that I want to continue in this YouTube career and I really feel called to do that. And so I haven't given up on YouTube. If you're hanging with me, thank you for being here. If you're new here, I would love if you continue to stick around to see some of the stuff that I will be putting out soon. More things like showing you this kind of practical stuff of the behind the scenes of being a filmmaker and, and you know, what is actually practical that I use. But also I will be putting out more of my narrative style videos and the things that are really on my heart to share with you guys. And yeah, I'm, I'm not giving up on it. I know I've been gone for a while, but this is something I'm really passionate about. I just, just life. Also, there's some things that I'm working on behind the scenes where I can actually connect deeper with you guys and maybe more personally. So I've been working on that. Those are in the works as well. So be on the lookout and keep your ear open for those things to come about. Um, I'm really excited to share with you once I get it all figured out. I hope this was inspiring to you and um, go out and be creative and use your gift to share with the world um, your own creativity. Who cares about all those other people out there? Um, stop consuming and start creating um, and start dreaming about the things that you really want to do. Well, I think that's it. I look forward to being back soon. I hope. Uh, feel free to leave any ideas that you have for me in the comments or things you'd like to see from me. Um, I'll be do my best to respond to all of you. I can't wait to connect more with you guys. And I need to stop rambling on. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.